Dyson, the company famous for turning household chores into an engineering obsession, has pivoted to something unbelievable, farming. But they aren't just growing food. They're solving a $2 billion industry problem that stumped Silicon Valley. For years, high-tech vertical farms were the future. Sleek towers growing food inside cities. Startups like Aero Farms raised billions. Then they all collapsed. The reason? They tried to out-engineer nature. Dyson's team near Carrington, UK, has taken the opposite approach. In their glass house, over a million strawberries grow on mesmerizing, rotating frames, watched by sensors and robots. Their yield is double the industry standard. But the real breakthrough? It's a secret system beneath the floor that finally makes high-tech farming profitable. The original vision was simple. Replace soil, sunlight, and weather with pure technology. Move the farm indoors, replace the sun with energy-intensive LEDs, and ignore the environment. It seemed brilliant until the global energy crisis hit. When European electricity prices spiked from 2020 to 2022, the business model shattered. That city farm feeding the world? It broke under the weight of its own power bill. They lost access to the two most valuable free resources on the planet, sunlight and rain. Dyson's farm functions as a midpoint, part factory, part field. They didn't eliminate nature, they made it hyper-efficient. Sunlight remains the main energy source, but their automation manages it with insane precision. 24-meter aluminum rigs slowly rotate, ensuring every single strawberry gets equal light, drastically cutting the need for supplemental LEDs. Rainwater collected from the roof is filtered and reused. Precision drip lines deliver exactly what each plant needs. It's an ecosystem engineered for maximum output. But the most interesting part? The part that makes this system sustainable? It happens completely out of sight. Below the facility is a massive anaerobic digester. It converts crop waste and even maize into biogas. That gas does three crucial things. It powers on-site generators for electricity. The recovered heat maintains optimal greenhouse temperatures year-round. The CO2 from combustion is captured and piped right back inside the glasshouse to literally feed the plants. Even the leftover sludge becomes natural fertilizer for nearby fields. Every output feeds the next input. It's not a farm, it's agriculture designed with the logic of an engine. James Dyson's entire career is about removing inefficiency. He started quietly buying farmland a decade ago. Now, with 35,000 acres under active management, it's not a hobby, it's an engineering program. Dyson's teams are combining mechanical design with agronomy, autonomous tractors, soil sensing networks, and AI systems that cut herbicide use by 90% by identifying weeds one plant at a time. For Dyson, progress isn't measured in acres planted. It's measured in waste eliminated. They're testing how automation can actually strengthen natural ecosystems. Planting trees between crop rows, using sheep as living fertilizer, and restoring rivers where aquatic life has returned for the first time in decades. Innovation like this comes with a cost. Right now, Dyson strawberries sell for £4.50, but they grow year-round, even in the depths of winter, and score incredibly high on the BRICS scale, meaning their sweetness and flavor are high as well. As their energy and nutrient cycles close, the costs drop, while reliability and flavor rise. It's the same curve we've seen in every major technology. Expensive at first, then inevitable. Dyson's farm isn't the final answer, but it's a scalable template. It shows us a future where farms power themselves, recycle their own water, and rebuild the ecosystems they depend on. Linear farming belonged to the industrial age. Circular, intelligent farming belongs to the next one. 
We've built machines that think and cities that analyze themselves. Now, we're learning to grow food with that same intelligence. Because the future of agriculture isn't about working harder. It's about engineering smarter systems. This was iTech. Keep your eyes on the future of food.